Um, hi, Harry. Hi. Hello. Hello. Um, <laughs> what are you drawing? I drew a picture of Mervyn the King, King, professional darts player from Suffolk. I drew it for my friend Spencer Tungate, who's a darts fan, uh, and he gave me. He works in a gallery in town, and he gave me two frames on the condition that I had to draw something to go in one to give back to him, because I'm not totally sure if he really actually wanted to give me them. But I sort of, I don't know. I don't. I don't want to say I bullied him into giving them to me, but yeah. So hopefully he will like the picture. But that's his favourite darts player. Wow. So he's into darts. He's very into darts, yeah. He's got a collection of dart flights that have got like naked women on them and stuff. That's funny. And so where can we see more of your artwork? Um, you can see it uh, on the internet. Um, I have a blog. I don't have a website. I've got a blog, um, which is Harry Malt Draws Pictures dot blogspot dot com. Um, and that's mainly where it is. Uh, other than that, don't know really. That's about it. That's I'm, I'm drawing some books actually, which I hope to get published soon. So, if that ever happens, then uh, fingers what crossed. What kind of books are they? Um, one's a book about um, Britishness, what it is to be British in Wonderful. the 21st century. Uh, sort of eccentricities and things like putting ferrets in your pants and. Uh, eating pies and pints and vicars sort of touching children and stuff you know? yeah um, and you've illustrated it all and written yeah that's a, it's a, like 102 things that are essentially British um, that's one of the books I've done and another one is a kind of generic memoir of growing up in the countryside um, it's called The Brutality of Boredom and it's about the stuff the lengths that people go to entertain themselves at like they're most bored um, firing eels at uh, silos with fireworks in them and, and you know, horrible stuff yeah, people there's, there's one story which is my favourite story that I got from a friend because I've kind of collected it from a lot of different sources so um, a friend told me that he knew this guy who decided that he was going to rob their local post office yeah. um, which he did with like an air rifle or whatever wearing a motorbike helmet that had his name written on the front of it <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's one of my favourites. So that's yeah, that's that. Um, and I think it's gonna it's gonna take place in a bus stop, waiting for one of these countryside buses that never turns up. Right? It's right. gonna be a conversation between an old man and two kids, so it can kind of span various possibilities. But that's a work in progress. That's yeah, I actually need to do some of that. I we'll look forward to seeing them. Yeah. I hope. Yeah, I will. I will show you them. Thank you very much, Harry. It's a complete pleasure.